Welcome to the Rolled Standard. My name is Christopher, and this week I'm going to be our GM as we continue to play Viking Death Squad. This is Ultimate Immortalis Part 4, and I don't care what your pastor told you, but left is law. <laughs> God damn what you. the fuck? That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, those are fun. Uh, <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> New one every week. Ah, uh, beautiful. Uh, you're going to run out pretty quick. <laughs> I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> 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 There's two entries on it. <laughs> and this is the second one. Uh, uh, two weeks. Oh, what? man. Two weeks. Exactly. And then you're gone. Wonderful. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Fuck. Yes. Hey, hey there. I'm Levi. Oh. I play uh, Barry Bjorn. Yeah, howdy. I'm Jacob. And I'm Nate, and I play the uh, Viking formerly known as Osmond Bowden. Get that recap in. Last time on the road, standard brother. The last three immortals on Earth, Barry Bjorn, Copper Torque Wrench, and Osmond Bowden. After an unfortunate accident at the hands of Barry's room cutting that caused Dr. Frank McFarlane his life and the hover truck, well, its existence. They went face to face with the platoon of infinitum boards. Barry flew through the air, from crater to crater, possessing the consciousness of multiple Borg soldiers. Osmond fell to the Borgs, and Copper used Oz's recently soiled corpse to surface way down one of the craters. In a last-ditch effort, an armored Borg fired its armor-destroying laser at Copper, leaving him with the dire decision. Use Oz's corpse as a shield, destroying the corpse and preventing Oz from being resurrected, or take a hit and become a corpse as well. The decision is in his hands and his alone. What will he decide this week on the road standard, brother? Copper, the chest beam of this armored Borg is aiming right at you. Are you going to use Oz's corpse as a shield, destroying it, preventing Oz from being able to resurrect again, or are you going to take the hit, making you a corpse as well? Uh, <laughs> I give you a sit rep so you understand what you're in for. Uh, the one that's firing the laser is at the very bottom of this crater, right? You're on the crest of the crater, okay? Yeah. He's got about an armor and two thirds left. He's looking just over half beaten. Um, behind him though, coming down the far side of this, halfway down the crest, is a perfectly good one, full armor. Hawk. And these, uh, there's a good pack of about a dozen and a half or so of these Borg dogs just circling the crater. And you can see pretty much all of this from up there. I have a dilemma. I cannot harm another immortal. And I'm pretty sure Ozzy's got his own code. Yeah, you will never return to captivity. So, uh, I don't have a lot of faith in Barry. I was just gonna so say- So I assume we're all just gonna die? You need to, like, the, <laughs> the only other option is to have faith in what Barry may possibly have planned once uh, you get- I, I mean, your soul burned from your body. What are you gonna do, Jacob? Yeah, what are you gonna do, Jacob? <laughs> I don't have options. He's dead. I think everybody knows He's dead that. right now. <laughs> We're well away. Yeah. <laughs> to give the other two guys a sit rep, uh, right. Oz is dead. And he is the object, the shield in question. He's dead. And, um, yep, he's dead. Uh, and Barry is, actually, he launched himself out of the crater. So I you're am. outside of the crater right now. Safe. You can see the dogs kind of circling this thing. Where, where, where is Barry? How Barry, far from me? Barry's quite a ways. About as wide as the crater is away from the crater I'm itself. a strong, giant immortal. Yeah. Can I fucking twirl and throw this corpse as far as I can towards Barry Bjorn? Well, okay, so here's the, the scenario that we're, like, mechanically, the scenario that we're in <laughs> is it is the Armored Borg's turn. Oh, it is their turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what we left it on, because he was firing his laser. I thought it was my turn. Yeah. The only reason that you're kind of giving, like, a, a turn, sort of, uh, is that you had an idea that felt like it was a massive light switch, you know what I mean? Like, either it's, it's like, it's going to go this way or it's going to go that way. Yeah. So it just seemed like a perfect idea. So, while, yeah, well, it isn't your turn, I'm still allowing you to make a split decision because of how awesome uh, that, <laughs> this, that that potential of either way is. What do you, what, oh, whatever God. you kind of think to do in this scenario, given what you have in mind. While holding on to this corpse, I try to deflect the blast with my arm. Okay, and uh, it pierces right through your arm and oh, right fuck. through you. Oh, I got piccoloed! And, yeah, and then you uh, you go down as well. Now is he rolling? Right, 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 right. Give me a D2. No! One, one means you're going into the crater, and two means you're falling the down baddies? the other side of the crater. And actually, you know what? Why don't you both do it? I'm talking to Jake and Nate. Because there are two bodies in play here. I don't like rolling these. Oh. Right? I like it. it uh, yeah, who knows? Oh, I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? That's how it really works. <laughs> For Jake, that was like that was amazing. natural 20s To be honest, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Oh boy. So, as you go down, Copper, your body slides down the outside of the crater, but Oz's body slides down into the crater. What? No, Fuck! No. God damn it, that's like the worst outcome! It kind of is. Kind of is. <laughs> Oh, boys. And so technically it was their turn. Technically it would be the dogs. Assume that they're circling the crater based on actually. Considering it's their turn, half of these dogs start to swarm around where Copper's body is sliding down. Oh like they're God. ready to receive it. My body? N no, Copper's, because they're on the outside of the crater, keep in mind. Oh, the, yes. the, the dogs are, are on the outside of the crater. Just kind of like running laps around it like a bunch of idiot dogs. <laughs> I remember now. Oh, so um, that's them. Our initiative then, we're technically at the top of round 12. We can continue doing it that way, I suppose. It's been like, have... what, 45 seconds? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait, no, a minute and... 12. A minute and 12 seconds, yeah. Um, so, Copper, uh, you're dead. Yeah. Barry. Watch him warp back to wherever peaceful land we came from. Yeah, earlier. Barry, there what are you doing? <laughs> there so is no I peaceful land. So what I seen was Copper throw Osmond at the peak of this thing. And Copper falls outside, and Osmond goes back into the well, crater. What you saw was, was the opposite. Copper was standing on the crest of the crater, right, yes. holding Osmond's body. Oz's body. Yep. He gets bolted by that laser, and then he, they, you see both of the bodies fall because obviously he's holding; he can't hold it anymore. Yep, yep. <laughs> and Oz's body falls into the crater, but you see Copper sliding out of the crater. <laughs> oh, this is fucked. Right? <laughs> you have a rune equipped. I mean, uh, no. ready to go. I didn't think you because did. I just came out of. Uh, being a dog, and I use my repulsor stone to shoot away from the baddies. And what yeah. do you have left for equipment, Barry? Just so that the listeners can get a... I have a blaster rifle. And? A blaster rifle. You have other stuff. Nope. You have nothing else? Zero. The repulsor stone is gone, isn't it? Gone. Yeah. Three yep. uses. I'll, I'll tell you another thing. All armor nope. gone. All of it's gone. It's all broken. So you're a one-pump chump now? <laughs> yes. You're, you're, yes. One, you're one shot, man. Yes. <laughs> one slap chap. One slap chap. <laughs> You do in Barreled. <laughs> hey, Jerry is short for Gerald, and Barry is short for Barreled. Yuck. Harry is short for Harold. Larry is short for Larold. <laughs> oh, man. Barreled got me, like, real, real quick. Okay. Real talk. Would Barry just leave you guys? Yes. Probably. I'm looking at it as a scenario. I feel like he doesn't have much of a choice. You'd have to fucking get crits all day just to annihilate these two. Yeah, yeah, for now, yeah. Mm -hmm. And even then... You get hit once, it's game over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then even then, the dogs are two hits on their own as well. They're not the one-pumpers. Barry, as you're standing there watching this whole thing happen, kind of looking around, it's kind of, you're kind of out of options at the moment, right? You kind of probably lost the what to do. You notice on the horizon, in the direction that you guys were heading, a convoy of trucks billowing up a cloud of smoke in their wake. And you hear, like, this building guitar. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. It's Mad Max. Being an immortal guy. Yeah. Have I seen this before? You guys were taken during the Viking times, right? Mm -hmm. And unleashed recently. Yeah. So you missed a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah. But we weren't a just driving a vehicle. Years. We've probably seen trucks because we were just You've definitely a seen the trucks. Yeah, you definitely know it's a convoy. Recently sure. is in like decade, decade two was. decades yeah. maybe. Yep. Mm -hmm. That kind of recently. Yeah. So yeah, you missed a ton so of stuff. So you have time to know. You missed the Beatles entirely. Yeah, well. I don't feel like they were very Viking. No, I feel like you wouldn't have dug it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so talking to the boys on the table here. We I, are present. I could just attempt to create a teleport stone dip. Option one. Two, I have a rune that I can also make that will allow me to... <laughs> I, was, I, I have to go through the whole list. Hold on. What? Yeah, there's a lot of runes, my guy. <laughs> I could turn into fire with this rune. Red. Transform into living fire. Take no hits. Ignore all for D4 turns. That sounds like a risk. That Keep Could... in mind, though, it takes you two turns to use a rune. You got to make it and then use it. In my next turn, which mm -hmm. that would you are me pretty enough. far away. I'm pretty far away from the bad. I would say the, you're definitely far. Those crazy lasers don't have a range. Also, they're in the crater. Yeah, though. that's they're that's the, the thing that's saving him in that regard. Because you can guarantee that it's going to take him at least two turns for the first one to crest. Yeah, yeah. and then the other one is farther. Because <laughs> then cause it's then, cresting. Because <laughs> then I could potentially try to collect your bodies or something, something. or at least one of you <sighs> in the interim. But you're just fire. You're just a man of fire. And then, like, you're just going to pick up these bodies and they're going to burn. Oh, shit. Very Bjorn, man on fire. <laughs> Very Bjorn. 
<laughs> Fire boy. <laughs> lava hunk. We'll be say lava girl. <laughs> I want to be shark Mol boy. Moltar. <laughs> the grackle. Is the grackle a bird? A bird? <laughs> it sounds like a bird. It is a bird. Okay. I'm going to roll for a rune. Okay. What are you kind of rune are you making? We already know the answer to this. They're not going to tell me until next yeah, round when you use it. Possession yeah. rune. Okay, make it happen. <laughs> yeah, the possession <laughs> rune. Possesses uh, one of our dead bodies, dies. I mean, he <laughs> would like to be dead. Rock'em, sock'em, robots. How how hurt were these guys? One, was... one is two and two thirds. One's about a half, and the other one's beautiful. Oh, shit. Beautiful. Spike yeah. ram them. You uh -huh. can't miss. That's true. But he has to have Two four hits. full turns, and then he still has another one to deal with, plus dogs. Yeah, yeah plus and dogs. And I'll just be exposed. Well, go all out, baby. Wish we had that bomb still. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, that's not my fault. That's Chris's. No, that's <laughs> your fault for rolling that badly. You go yeah. back two episodes, I could roll to see what destroyed. Only because of that current scenario. I gave you an option in that moment. Okay, I'm rolling the dice. That's a success. Okay, good. Very good. Very sweet. For possession <laughs> again. Oh my God. Dear Lord. Okay. Oh um, Lordy. You can't really tell what happens, I guess, besides the dogs starting to. Uh, half of them are running circles around the crater, still like morons. <laughs> <laughs> like you keep, keep talking crap about dogs here. Keep them perimeter. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're just excited. Probably they're and, dogs, and they're just covering copper. Half of them are. They're kind of it's like they're something's coming down to them, and copper's right there. Okay. The building rhythmic shredding uh, that you hear on the horizon as these hover trucks get closer. It's hard to tell how many there are because, you know, it's a convoy. It looks like there's one, but there's like seven in a row or something, you know. But yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're really far away still. They, they're pretty far away, yep. Okay. Um, that brings us back around again. What are you doing with that rune? I go back into that familiar mind that I've been in twice already. You know, the damaged one. Or no, is he damaged or is he the good one? He's no, the good one. He's the good he one. He was C. Okay. Your body falls and you wake up inside that mind of that Borg again. Let me roll for how many rounds? Yes, do so. Four rounds this time. Four. Wow. wow. Nice. Okay. Wow. Max. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. 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 Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's the Borg's turn. You can see from your perspective now, Barry, being the one in the back, the one is still climbing, and the, the one in front of you, the damaged one, climbs the uh, to the crest of the crater. You see him just launch that chest laser off into the distance. I have a question, Barry. Is this nauseating whenever you transfer mines? When your body falls, do you just throw up and someone's got to put you in the, like, the recovery position? It's probably like how he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> A lot of blood. Yeah. A lot of blood in that vomit. So, yeah, always it. You're doing it right. What uh, What are you doing there, uh, armored Borg Barry? Okay. I want to walk towards this other Borg. How far towards him can I get? Currently at the bottom of this crater. You can get halfway up the other side, so you're still an act uh, a move away from him. Can I pick up my dearly deadened friend and shoot a laser at this other Borg? Yeah. So you're picking up Oz's body, yeah, well, and then you're firing the, the chest laser at the other one? Yeah. Okay, I like that. You know what? Considering he doesn't even see it happening and doesn't suspect it, there's no way that he's going to, like, dodge it, right? So I'm not even going to have him roll, and this is going to auto-hit. Yeah. Yes. You wow. just destroy a piece of his armor now, and he's about uh, less than one piece of armor. He's got two, <laughs> he's got two thirds total. Okay. What, what does he do to react? It's not his turn. Oh, okay. It, but you see him kind of just, like, take the hit, and then you see his knees buckle. Cool. I like it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's all that really matters. The dogs continue what they're doing nonsensically. There's really nothing that they're going to accomplish, really. You see that those trucks now, which the music is getting louder. Well, you can't see from down there, but you can hear it. Okay. You can hear that coming. And yeah, that's getting louder. Brings us back around to the top again. And uh, Barry, his body lays there. Fortunately, none of the dogs give a shit. <laughs> Too worried about Copper's juicy bits. <laughs> Yum. Now, the, uh, the armored Borg that you shot at turns around at you, and you get this, like... What's it say to me? This email <laughs> in your head, or, you know, this... Oh, this, MSN Messenger this pops up? Yeah, yeah, this text. Yeah, My actually. My AIM. It just says, Y-U-H-8-N. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> That's <Borgs>. it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, and then he, he, you see, like, his, he pulls the axes off his back. Cool. And that's it, yeah. He had to take his text message, right? So that takes a move. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. What do you do? 
So I make it to the top of the crater? Yeah, you can make it there in this turn, yep. I take my friend and I see the pile of dogs, mm -hmm. and I'm next to the Borg. Yep. I take Osman and I throw him in the pile of dogs. Okay. So they're together. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it just like, it, you see like it, the, the body, you guys are huge, yeah. lands on these dogs and he just crushes a good few of them. Cool. But it like, you know, it's a good travel too. <laughs> I mean, that body kind of, uh, that, that, to be fair, in the, boy. within your turn, you probably didn't see that land yet. So we'll assume that he didn't. And yeah, so you, you do and it flies. <laughs> Awkward, you know, towards that. Now, I want, and then I'm going to hit the other Borg. With what? Uh, hammer fist? What was that? You got that spike ram thing? Is that yeah. what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay, yep. And that's one of those things where you just don't roll for it. Yes. So, yeah, you smash him you know, smash him with this thing, and uh, his armor is completely destroyed, and all that's left of him. These sons of bitches got a self-destruct? No. No. Fuck. We've already been talking about this last episode. <laughs> we were <laughs> trying to. Yeah, he's just, he's just frame and wires at this point. All the armor plating is gone. Cool. The dogs, half of the ones clustered around copper, all look up at this arcing body. <laughs> Doesn't sound right, arcing body. Mm. <laughs> now that you're up here at the crest, you see this convoy has, has spread itself out and is actually right around where your body was. It's oh, starting to circle your body. That's not good. You can see from up here, too, that on one of these, you see a guy in these, like, super tight leather pants standing on top of one of these trucks, mm. just playing this insane-looking axe. Ah, uh, you self-inserted again, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I don't wear tight pants. <laughs> It's Pelgrin. Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. that, and yeah, and his hair is just flowing, right? <laughs> it's not even windy. <laughs> but he's shredding so hard. And I got clips for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I searched for them today when I was writing it. I was like, I got to have these first before I just think we can do this. He's just fucking ripping. Then you see now that there are six of these, these hover trucks, two of which are carrying these massive stacks of speakers. And they're just chained to the top of these things. And he, he's clearly connected to them. Uh, the next round, your body still lays there, encircled by these wagons. And then on to the one that's messing with you here. He uh, swings these axes at you. Yes. Because that's what he had drawn. Are you going to... I'm going to take it. You're going to take it? You're just going you're just, <laughs> yeah. to take it? Yeah. What Very do cool. they do? That's a fair point. Uh, it's not my body. And you see that he like chips into your armor plating of your board body, uh, but not even enough to destroy a piece of it. Oh, sad. Yeah, well, it does, it's two hits, and it technically takes three. He's so. due to the ram. He could have, but he had the axes drawn already. <laughs> it looked more intimidating from the distance they were at. <laughs> you know, you draw the fucking things, and you're just like, ching. Not as, not as, you know. What's he doing? Painful. I can't see. Oh, it looks like he's giving me the finger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck that see? guy. But he pulls axes, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> so that's what he does. What do you do? I think Barry made a mistake here. Why? <laughs> Realizing that he's not losing as much armor as he wanted. Mm. Maybe. Running Maybe. out of time. Mm. Yes. Stressy. Yes. Uh, um, oh, I see. Uh, yeah. have died as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> For the board to go down. Okay, I got you. Laser beam some dogs or something. This guy's still alive. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of this guy. I would like to take my hammer thing. Spike hammer? Yeah. Is that, that what it is? Well, I mean, think of it as like, uh, have you ever played Front Mission? Any of those mech games? They have like this pile that comes out of the back of gotcha. their fist. That's what I'm picturing. It's like pneumatic or something. I want to hit him into the direction of the dogs. Oh, so you're gonna just you're gonna hit him with that thing and just launch his body into the pile of dogs? I want to do that. Yes. Okay. So okay. So uh, tell me about it. <laughs> I hit him into the pile of dogs. Okay. So <laughs> this thing's bought you do that and you just like shatter this thing into two pieces. Like uppercut style. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you, yeah. Oh, perfect. So yeah, you hit this thing through the center mass in the chest, which sends the, the torso because it separates up the spine of the robot, whatever. Um, the legs fall down, but the torso arcs through the air, following in Oz's path. <laughs> As Oz hits the ground, it hits the dogs, knocking a bunch of them out. And then this one, yeah, falls on top of Oz <laughs> and more of these dogs. Then at least there's the no dogs, shit in my pen. Oh, never mind. There always there, there is. Yep. And it's just probably the whole area smells like it probably. Yeah, while well, you were flying it. through the air, it was just kind of falling out of your leg. Maybe. Wow. Not great. Apparently. <laughs> a, it's thin. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Real watery. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. the, the remaining dogs that did not get crushed kind of scatter and start kind of running around like idiots again. And there's about half as many as there was. The convoy completes its circle around Barry's body. The side windows of these hover trucks open, and you see a bunch of blaster rifles come out of the windows, and they just start picking off the dogs. Oh. Back to Barry. This is your last turn unconscious. Well, that, the body's unconscious anyway. This is your last turn as the armored Borg. What are you doing? I want to hit myself back down the crater take my like like uppercut yourself in the face take my fall back. <laughs> like liar liar in the face and roll back <laughs> down 
Like, like liar, no. liar. No, for real. Like, use the I, I want to roll back down the grater. What, are you using the spike ram for that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that a lot. So you're going to destroy an entire piece of armor as you like <laughs> fall back onto the bottom of the crater again. Good. This armored board, which, God, that's got to look weird for these dudes that showed up because they, <laughs> they know what this thing is, probably, <laughs> assumedly. And then he just punches himself in the face and falls down. Yeah, they just, <laughs> yeah, they just see three unconscious immortals I'm, and this well, they, robot they, kicking its own they ass. Probably, <laughs> no, they probably do see you dudes because of the size of you compared to these. Like a dogs, um, but they clearly saw Barry. I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, as your last turn is that thing, the board tumbles down to the bottom of the crater again. Liar, liar. The dogs are gone pretty much. There's a couple stragglers at this point, but they're these are scampering at this point. Their kill instinct is clearly not in that. Well, they're, they're wired, they're programmed. <laughs> Robots. They're robots. They're not like, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly they're exhibiting dog-like behavior already, so right. they'll keep doing that. So yeah, they whimper around and flee from the gunfire. The riffing keeps happening, right? <laughs> but the uh, the doors of a couple of these hover trucks open, and uh, you know what? It doesn't even matter what's happening because you're unconscious. Unconscious. And you're also the view. The view that you do have is tumbled down the thing. There's no way that you'll know what's happening up there. Nobody knows what's going on, Chris. But when We're I come anymore. <laughs> but when I come to my back, to my body, come to your back. To right, right, right. Body. Exactly. When I back body, oh, no, like he's my got cum. golf on the Oh mind. no, no! <laughs> Go back into your. <laughs> Um, Barry, you wake up all of a sudden back in your body and you just throw up all over the ground. <laughs> Why do I throw up this time? Because we talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke it into existence. Because mm -hmm. I was going to pretend to be dead. It's hard to be dead and you threw up everywhere. I know. You're playing dead, though? Jacob. Are you playing dead? Yes. Actually, you know what? Let's give you a chance to have that possible. Yes. Give me a guts test. I'm going to call it... Swallow it. I'm going to call it 2D, okay? Swallow it. The number you're looking for is a 5. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You can get that with one dice. <laughs> I, have, I would like to spend a resolve. You have a resolve I to have spend. I have one left. Do you? Okay. Okay, very I good. I got an eight. Yeah, so you don't throw up. I swallow. Okay, yeah. so better yet. Oh, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's I perfect. hoover it back in. <laughs> <laughs> so you just, okay, so yeah, Barry, you wake up suddenly and you immediately throw up in your mouth. Mm. Uh, but you hold it back. I swallow it. You got guts. We got guts. Uh, and you hear, or you're, you're not even opening your eyes, are you? No. Okay, so. Because I know they're there. Yeah, you hear that shredding happening, and you hear the marching of feet. You barely hear that, probably. <laughs> you mostly just hear this music playing. What are you doing? I'm going to pretend to be dead this whole time. Okay, so then you. Uh, Can't wait for the pulse check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel people pull. Like, you can tell that like, they've grabbed you, right? These people have tried to move you, but you're so fucking big. You feel them tugging at you, and then you're like, oh, no, it's, it's, no, it's no fucking way. He's too fucking heavy. This guy's gonna weigh like 600 pounds, 700 pounds, something like that. Easily. More like, probably like a ton. Uh, get the fucking chains. I got it right here, boss! Oh, good, uh. Oh, scrump. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, God, no, stop. Just drop it, drop and it. Just, just, just shut up and just wrap the ankles. Okay. And I wrap his wrists. <laughs> okay. And then you feel. The bottom ankles. <laughs> Not the hand ankles. <laughs> the hand ankles. Oh, you're right. Hold on. And I pop out this fucking glass eye, spit on it, and polish it, and pop it back in. What? Oh, I see what I did wrong now. What, into your mouth? <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> barely just hears this. I didn't even see any of this. Uh, so, uh, Barry, you you feel the chains wrap around your wrist. Uh, one wrist and one ankle. One wrist and one ankle? Oh, I love that. Oh, okay. And uh, you, you just feel like it tug you, and you, you feel it. Pretty, pulling pretty good. Okay. All right, you guys uh, go tug him along. I gotta go take a really fiery piss. You got it, boss. <laughs> and uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, glad you compete today. <laughs> Barry, you feel yourself pull onto. You know, like what. These hover trucks look like the same make and model that you're used to. The kind of the standard hover truck. The Ford thing Tugger. The, yeah, the Ford Tugger. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, and you feel yourself being pulled into the cargo bay of it. Okay. You hear it close. I, so I hear it close and then... And then nothing. You do hear like feet walking around and a little idle nonsense. Now where did I put my fucking lunchbox? Where is that old pail? Why'd you bring your lunchbox? God damn it, Jeffrey, get out of here. Okay. We'll get those other big fuckers. What? What did you say about my mother? Nothing this time. Okay. <laughs> well, you tell Auntie I said hi. Will do. Let's take a break. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Welcome back to the Rolled Standard. Now, Barry, you are in the back of a uh, of a hover truck. You open your eyes for like a like a quick blink just to get like a scan, like a millisecond scan, you know, just so no one can see it. You realize you're in the dark. Okay, perfect. And, but you are still chained. You do feel the chain around your wrist and around your ankle. Okay, <laughs> I take the chain off. Okay, and you realize, and you're trying to like trying to get this. You realize they just wrapped it. Okay. Like, it's just really all you got to do for something that big, you know what I mean? Like, the, it's, it, it, they wrapped it around your wrist, and they continued to wrap it around your ankle, and then, but I hooked it. <laughs> so you're not on the real, like, great, but enough to pull you in. Scrump's not a bright lad. No, of course not. <laughs> What'd you say? It's pretty damn in here. Shh, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, uh, what do you do in here? It's pitch dark. I am going to... You said you knew! I, yeah. I do know. You planned okay. this the entire break and nothing? <laughs> I do know. All right, I'm going to try to create another room. Okay, um, give me the roll then. I know you're not gonna tell me what it is. So I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be. I'm curious. Oh. My my destination stone. God damn it, kid! <laughs> <laughs> I succeed. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Remember to mark those off too when you succeed. You That's succeed a great point. It's it's fully full. I have to do it at rest. Oh <laughs> yeah, you don't really get money rest. I make my destination run. Okay. Does it feel like we're moving? Yes, you can feel like the. You feel moving. You feel the hover. Yeah, <laughs> I mean you you you've driven in these things quite a bit. You under you you know what it feels like. And okay. it feels like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, plain and simple. All right. Rune in hand. Can I try to find a door or a release for this hatch? Okay. Well, you know these things pretty well. And, well, not pretty well, but you know the one that you've driven around in pretty well. So you're kind of feeling your way around in here based on that memory, right? On the memory of the previous one. Because you're like, oh, the winch, right? I know the winch. You know, I know where that is. So you know, like, okay, this is probably where the door is. And this means the light is probably right. Here. I click on the light. The light turns on and the room is just filled with the fluorescent glow of it. You see the door, of course, and everything is laid out as you think it would be. And you can tell sort of like this is clearly the same model. It's obviously a Ford Tundra. <laughs> 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 it's amazing the hell they've la they lasted the test of time. So yeah, you see that there's the releases are for the for the for the drop down door are exactly where you think. The demand door that leads to depending on the model and you don't really know yet, it's either the cab itself or there's like Kind of a, bur a birthing room. Okay. It's one of the a other. birthing room. A bir not like birth, like 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 bunk. <laughs> like oh. bir with an e, not oh. an i. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not sure which though, depending on the model. You don't know. They both have the same cargo bay, as far as you know. Can I scrounge this area? Yes, you can. And now here's how we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna give you the whole D6 thing like we used to do. Remember that? Because mm -hmm. that's a different scenario. I'm just gonna have you roll a 2D20 on the basic list. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have you roll 2D20 on the armor list. Mmm, fair. Right, it just makes, I mean, hits what he needs a hell of a lot more. <laughs> 32. 32. Blur jacket. Oddly enough, it, it's, it's your size. <laughs> Hard to explain, but it, it, it's the case. Just a sensor jacket? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's armor plus 1D speed. Ooh. Whoa. You know that thing that we've been trying to get? Another D in speed? You got Whoa. it. That's... The rarest of items. How safe do you feel back here, Levi? Comfortable. With your stone in hand and your jacket blurred? Yeah, my my Neo jacket. <laughs> <laughs> billowing in the wind. Giant man. Also, is it like a long, like, like, like pleather trench coat? Yeah, <laughs> it's just a leather curtain that he... <laughs> He's just like, this is a jacket. It's not. It's a tarp. <laughs> it's a tarp! <laughs> It makes you fat. It makes you feel like you're faster, though. You're like, yeah. So you put so it on like a, That's it, why it's, it's the not neo jacket. jacket. It's a cape. That's why it's the neo jacket. He wears like you feel, a cape. You can feel the slickness. It's a of cape. The it, it, it takes your body slot, but still, it's a cape. Oh my! Which really, Lord. just a tarp. But that's what you. We've made this so much less cool. I'm so sorry. I don't know about it's that. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what do you do now, Barry, with your sweet Matrix cape? You can hear too faintly the uh, guitar <laughs> from the outside. It's <laughs> just still ripping. <laughs> I want to find the lever that says up and down for the cargo door hatch and lower the hatch. Yeah, so you, like, press the open button, and then you're holding it, and it's just... <laughs> open, and you see that, yeah, you guys are cruising. Is there anyone behind us? You're not sure where the other ones are based on your FOV, but you can tell that there isn't any other truck behind you. Okay. Can I peek around the corner and see what's in front of us? Yes, you see that you are in a convoy, and the convoy is moving again. You can't tell really where you are at this point because a little bit of time has passed and you guys are moving pretty good. You're not anywhere near the crater anymore. You look around and you, yeah, you see that you're in that convoy. You see that there's about six of these. 
You can't really see, but you can hear him, the guy playing the guitar, and he must be in front of the speaker. If you were to visualize that line, you can assume guitar one, speaker, speaker, three with their normal, and you're in that back third. I'm going to use my destination stone. Okay, and what does that do? I can teleport anywhere I've been. Okay, where are you going? Where's home base? Home base is, ooh, that's a great question. We're going to determine that right now by chance. Uh, okay. Give me a D2 and then a D12. Two. Okay, and then a D12. One. City Scar Europa. Once a sprawling mega city, Europa was decimated by a long lasting war with the Annihilators in 8100. What are the Annihilators? Is that, is that the Infinitum? BDSM group. Oh, no, there actually is a thing. Re- <laughs> it's that, yep. Uh, refusing to give up no matter the cost, citizens of that city created a vast network of underground tunnels and bunkers, taking down the Annihilators one by one over decades. They survived to this day, plotting the next step of their endless war with the Infinitum. So, okay, so that's really just like a bunch of underground tunnels and bunkers below Europe. That's where you're from. That's where home base is. Cool. So I'm going to teleport into the war room. Seriously? That I'm very familiar with. Okay, are yeah. We, are we in the United States right now? You are, yeah. Are going to teleport all the way across the pond? Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, you guys are currently, like I said, in Virginia, state of Virginia. He's going to, like, Germany. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you blink out of existence, out of this truck, and you appear back in the war room with a uh, sweet cape on. <laughs> and the billows. Yeah. Well, there's no wind. I'm, but I'm, with I'm the force of your teleport, it's just like, yeah. I'm standing over a grate. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe style. Okay. You pop back into the war room of the resistance that you guys are part of. Kind of the last human resistance force. And you see your director sitting at the table alone. He's, in, he's alone. He's got a bottle of some reclaimed alcohol. Hard to say what anything really is. Looks up at you. White mustache. White you son of a bitch. <laughs> Barry, the hell you do? What? Where, where'd you get that sweet uh, tarp? <laughs> what, what's going on, Barry? This is sweet tart. <laughs> sweet tart. I am things I'd never thought I'd heard in my life. Pandering to the boy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to question you, sir. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Brother. How's it, how's it going, Smith? Uh, Barry, what is going on here? There's a mess in Virginia. Virginia? What of, is that? Of the USA. The what? Oh, this. Yeah, Splintered yeah. States. You found that book a long time ago. I'm current on my my history facts, brother. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, what's, what's going on? I, I need some help. What kind of help? You always need some help. As you can tell, Copper and Osmond, mm. they, they went down. Like, for good? No, brother. No. Oh, then what are you doing here? I had to escape, you know. Mm. Get back home. From what? Did you find Frank? Oh, brother. That was a mess. He's dust in the wind. Like my favorite band, Kansas, would say. Who? You know that old piece of plastic I like to listen to, brother? Yeah. This one right here, and I'd take it off the shelf. <laughs> well, you know. Get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> I need help recovering their bodies. They were captured by some bandits, brother. Paul? Paul Tantu? Yeah. Do you know if he got the codes? Yes. He did. <laughs> I'm being informed, yes. And do you have them? No, no. Where are they? We haven't seen them yet. Oh, you don't know where they are? No. Who had them last? You said Paul got them. You got Frank and Paul got them, right? Yep. And then where'd they end up? A firewind. Has firewind. Paul. I don't know what that means. It's a guy. He has Paul. Bandits. They got my boys. So what's your plan now? I need B-team. B-team, huh? All right, well, why don't you rest up and if you think you have the time, and we'll send some guys. Perfect. All right, well, meet me back here uh, once you feel uh, ready. Okay. And then uh, he just kind of swan dives under a desk with a blanket. In the war room? You're just napping under there? Yeah, I'm just going to nap under the desk. What a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, your, your, your quarters. Oh, sorry, brother. What the fuck? Yeah, you've been staying in here, boss. I don't know. I don't know what the... Is that why it smells like feet? It's warm. I feel like it was... always smells like feet. That was you. I walked Excuse my me, quarters sir. then. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cardboard box in the alley. <laughs> no, you probably have some. You, you, so you go to your quarters. Now, you have an opportunity here to rest officially. Cool. So any one of these uh, skills that you have um, maxed out, you can spend to give it another dice or get a whole new skill. And you have two of them. You have, uh, let's say, Rumpus. 
runes. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> runes and weapon runes. specialist. Yep. And I can also make a new blood rune. That is true as well. I'm I'm gonna bolster my weapon specialist in runes. Okay. And now we gotta worry about a blood rune. All right. So available is strength, protection, communication, wealth, justice, stillness, skills, endurance, ancestors, harvest, and storms. You know, strength is your power goes up by one. Protection, you add an extra hit to all armor you use. That makes all armor four point four hit capable rather than just three. That's pretty good. Uh, communication is your wits by one. Wealth, you gain an, an extra piece of gear per session. Uh, justice, choose an enemy per battle and ignore its armor. Question. <laughs> did you read that one? I did. Insane. Question. Yeah. So all armor, correct? Ignore its armor. <laughs> that one. You want justice? That you, one. Dude, you, want, you don't want oh to read my, anymore? Oh, no. <laughs> that oh, one. Oh, no. He's going to actually be a kill machine now. That's broken. I'm it broken is, as fuck. But it's yeah. one enemy per battle. Yes. Oh, that is true. But, like, any boss fight, game over. Dude. That one. Dude. <laughs> that one. That one's I'm going to pick him. Fight. I'm going to pick him. All right, so there you go. You got the justice rune. He's gonna just, Blood rune. He's going to snipe fire crotch All in right. the face. I'm going to write. <laughs> It'll be yeah. over it. Get fucked. Holy shit, brother. So you bear you go back into the war room. And, uh, Smith has two guys standing there. You don't know them. Hey, I'm Barry. John Jefferson at your service. Nice to meet you. Barry. Oh, you're tall, John. One, aren't you? Brother. I'm as tall as I get. Say yeah. John Jefferson. John Jefferson. Okay. JJ for short. I like it. Don't fucking call me that. Okay, JJ. Oh, my God. I hate these immortals so much. Both of these dudes are, are wearing bot like the best body armor that you guys can slap together in the current state of things. This is this war room and this whole area is not as nice as you might be imaging, imagining. <laughs> imaging. It's pretty ramshackle. Everything is just slapped together, you know. It's survivor, not like not I got goats. hockey pads on. He may be, maybe, yeah. And then they they're they're equipped with blaster rifles. And maybe more. Who knows? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Well, when you're ready, uh, I guess that's all on you. As long as I don't fuck this up again. Do that in here. <laughs> Go to the shooting range. Brother. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the, the shooting range. No, I do it right here. I maybe not. Smith gonna... Lee's. <laughs> yeah, uh, I may, maybe not wear your tarp. Why is that, brother? I, I, I'm sorry. I know you don't know. Who, I'm Barry, like I said. Uh, I know you don't know who I am, but I've seen you guys around here, and I've seen that shit. Uh, that shit gets volatile. I'm just stepping out. Okay. I just figured I'd let you know. All right, bye. <laughs> uh, what about John Jefferson over here? He's gonna pull out a notebook and watch. All right, up close. Yep, I'm gonna uh, take notes. I'm gonna make another rune. <laughs> <laughs> I succeed. Okay, good. Succeed. What rune did you make? Okay, question. Yeah, I need to make a couple runes. You have <laughs> Can a rune. I roll them all. Yeah, you have. Okay, how many how many equipment spaces do you uh, have? I have a lot. a lot. Right, so don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. So you can make another one. Yeah. Okay. You succeeded your first one. The so rule I, that I said for you was until you fail. Okay. You know, or or fill up or give up. All right. Whatever. That, that was one destination stone. I'm gonna make a second one. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. Um, we did say you can't do the second. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can't double right, up on the same right. ones. Okay. That's the only real succeed. thing I got. Yeah. That's a success. Yeah. So which other one are you making? This one's a wizard's eye. What does that do? It allows me to remotely view any known location for one minute. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you have two runes, then you have both of those. I'm going to make another one. What's that third one going to be? Hopefully. So <laughs> my next rune is Personal Darkness. What does that do? It lets me banish light from an area, but I can still see. You know where the light switch is. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those are all good stealth mission ones. A success. Okay, very good. You made all three of those runes then. And so what you're holding like? Six items now? Five. Oh, so you only had the blaster rifle in the cape? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Damn. And then I'm going to make one more. Okay. What is it I, pr- I promise. What is it going to be? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fire form. Fire form? Yep. The one you're going to be for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, going to yeah. flame on? Yeah, I can transform into living fire, take no hits, and ig- ignite all for D4 turns. Okay, give me the roll. Got it. Yeah. Good thing you had that third time. Thankfully. Bag, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 you would have failed that okay. horribly if you didn't. So you're um, ready to roll then, huh? Uh, yeah. What does that look like? Wow, that looks like a couple of them. And you, you sat right there. You talking to me? Oh, yeah, he definitely bought the right outside. guy in you. Brother, he's braver than most. I, that's not what I would have called it. but <laughs> Like I would have known that he sucks at this. 
<laughs> They're like, he might just explode the building, so... He's like the only one who can do it in the world! <laughs> Especially he's like, not in here! And then he's like, well, I'm leaving then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's as funny to me. So, since I peeped out of that cargo hole... Yeah? I would like to use my wizard wizard's eye to look at this location for a minute. What location? Has I seen all the ships? Yes, you have. You have seen the outside of those things and traveling I, down the road, yes. And I've seen the lead ship? When you I, have seen it before. When I was aboard. That is true. You have seen it. Yes, that is true. Yep, you're right. I would like to peep that. Peep that. What, the, what the top of that hover truck looks like? Yes. Okay. You uh, shatter that stone or whatever it is you do to that thing. <laughs> I just grip it. Totally. Oh, okay. You just see like this, the riser that he stood on and just parked. Okay. He's not on it right now. All right, brothers, you ready to go? I close my book. As I'll ever be. All right, grab a hold. And I present them part of my tarp. I grab his butt cheek. <laughs> Why? Good grass, brother. <laughs> yeah, he likes it. <laughs> I grab the tarp, naturally. <laughs> and then I use the destination stone into the fucking... Uh, Where are you guys going? Into the cargo hold. Of the one that you were in? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you, the three of you just blink out of the existence and blink back into the dark. Jefferson violently throws up. <laughs> yeah, really that happens the first couple times, brother. Yeah, it's a strange one. I'm just going to scoop it into a beaker, put a cork on it. Weird dude. <laughs> <laughs> Either that's a large beaker or a very small amount of vomit. Or both. <laughs> Got a small belly. I don't know what's going to be outside this this thing, but be prepared. I cock my book? Do I have a gun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have blaster rifles. Okay. As well. Different, perhaps, you won't but... have to use a book as a weapon for a while. Uh, again, for a while, I mean. Uh, <laughs> old habits die hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I open the, the cargo hatch. You just hear it. There probably could have been a quieter way to do this. No, this is the only way. Like the doors themselves are just... <laughs> I take out a can of WD-40 and squirt the joints. It, it still goes because it's the motor that's doing oh, it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've um, done all I can. And it's, it's dark out. It's parked. Um, you see that there's other of these parked around. They're all off. And you see that you're parked outside of this. What well, used to be like a bunker of some sort or some kind of fort. But now it's just bombed out ruins. It looks like it's habit inhabited, though. And you see in the center of this whole thing, because it's sort of a dished out area, the center of it, you can see, and you guys see this because you are on the, it's almost like a smaller crater, a little shallower and perhaps wider than the ones you guys were in. And you're on the edge of this looking down into it. You see in the center of these ruins that there is a huge bomb of some sort. Around this evenly, in, around this crater, you see these large iron beams holding these massive speakers. And you see, too, that, like, the truck that was carrying them, like, they're not there anymore. Clearly, they put them back. <laughs> like, they just haul these around. It's time to go. Bring the speakers. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. And uh, hanging from those, you see cages, iron cages, and there are people inside them. You hear this constant, like, the same noise that you were hearing before, that music. You're hearing it quieter and kind of muffled, but it's still kind of going. Did I take my flashlight out and turn it on? I'm already exhausted. What's that, brother? I mean, I could imagine living here. It sounds like it would be exhausting. So I'm going to, like, go over here and commence that pants shitting. <laughs> if you don't mind. I open my fanny pack and take out some adult diapers and hand them to Barry. Barry, which, Ju which, Barry Jr. Why did, oh, they, which one? <laughs> why did you have those prepared? I'm Bro always prepared. Brother, these won't fit me. I did not hand... Are you Barry Jr.? He's trying to put them on anyway, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just rip it through it. He's got to hold my cape down. What the fuck he is happening? He doesn't keep it in his <laughs> This is the motherfucker who's going to save us. Just, I'm going just... to look up at Barry B Bjorn here. Uh, so I am I feel it like we're a little uh, ill-prepared. Can you just, you got one of them stones to send me back? Yeah, hold on. Let me make another one. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Why? Hey, I make another one. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> You're making another destination one? Yeah. There's an atom bomb. <laughs> Brother, I ain't scared to death. That makes one of us. All right, follow me. And we, we move towards <laughs> the music. <laughs> he he makes the stone and then holds it hostage. <laughs> <laughs> you see as you guys are... Are you stealthing in there? Yeah. So you guys are all kind of... I turn my flashlight off. Flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> it stops buzzing. 
<laughs> it's pulsating. The water runs out. Water. <laughs> Sorry, it's dark. I That's not waterly. Though. Fanny pack. I couldn't. They both feel the same. <laughs> One is a diaper and a flashlight in it. What's wrong with? <laughs> if he's gonna it's die, no diaper. To be fair, <laughs> if he's gonna die, he's gonna die his way. <laughs> <laughs> I take out a. I take out a case of fucking Mentos, and they're making all them fucking jingly sounds that Mentos do in their little wait, box. Wait, wait. Uh, I'm gonna savers. have to go to the. G- Hold on, I'll be right back. I need. To- <laughs> <laughs> you got like all of these out. This one makes noise. This is what I meant. Yep, this is the right one. <laughs> okay, Tic Tacs, whatever. My breath gets real, st- real stinky when I'm nervous. You, anyone, anyone want an Altoid? They're older than dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like there's just a box of dust. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> 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 they're, they're like, Smears on his gums. Oh god! <laughs> I'll, I'll take a bump of that, brother. <laughs> yeah, I, I put my nose on the, the little container. And oh, just... oh no! Don't do that. Your <laughs> nose is too big. I'll... In this episode, on, Barry, <laughs> Barry snorts a line of Altoids. <laughs> <laughs> well, that he's took gonna go, Jay, He's going to go Barry Bjorn now. That took twenty years for me to find, and that was the only one. Thank you for sniffing all of that. Whoa, brother. That feels good. <laughs> Just Altoids. Don't understand. It really wakes you up. Uh-huh. As you, uh, as you can sit there doing whatever the fuck it is you're doing, <laughs> you see down in the, the homes of this area a door open because you see the light shining from inside. And you see the guitar dude walking out of the place, and he's still just kind of, like, noodling, right? He puts it out behind him, and you see him, like, walk to the corner of the thing, and you see him uh, he's jiggling around a little bit, and you hear him start pissing. I take out my my monoscope. Monoscope? Oh, like just a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You see that he is in fact pissing. Oh yeah, he's pissing. I take out a dagger. <laughs> it's just this weird <laughs> ritual dagger. <laughs> I gotta cut that man's dick off. <laughs> I need for, it for my collection. For Satan. <laughs> Satanus dickus. <laughs> This is gonna be hard to edit for sure. (laughs) Like it's also it's both as absurd as it could possibly be, and also so hysterical to have been this very normal guy (laughs) up until this point, and then now go absolutely insane. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, so you're looking at him through a monoscope. You see, you don't see his dick, but you're trying. (laughs) Maybe I don't know. Oh god, probably not. He goes back to you. You pull out a dagger. He licks his lips. Well, you decide what kind of dagger it is. What about you, Barry? Does does Barry see his uh, immortal buddies in a cage or anything? Yeah, give me a withdrawal. I'm going to call it 2D. Five. Six. Oh! Wow. Very cool. Wow. So you're looking around, and you see that there's like a pile of bodies. Yeah. Um, just like discarded corpses <laughs> kind of just hanging out around the bomb, and you do see that there are two particularly large ones. You recognize Oz's sweet butt cheek tattoo. Do I see... Paul in a cage. Give me another wits roll. We're going to call that one a 2D as well. Seven. I'm going to use a resolution. A resolve? Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Seven. That counts. Yeah. You, uh, as you're looking around, you see in these cages, you do see, you recognize Paul by his terrible mustache. Just the wispiest little, like, cry stash. Mm. But his super amazing golden mullet. Should I take Yeah, yeah, his mullet is really what tipped you off, but you you did see the mustache, too. That thing <laughs> shines even in the dark. Should I take mm-hmm. his kidneys, boss? Oh, God. Bro- brother, who who are you trying to get? The pisser. Leave him to me. I need you and you to go over to those cages over there. They're dangling, right? Yeah, they're quite a ways up there, too. Do we see where the chain... They're, they're chained to the actual, like... There's not, like, a, a lever or, like, a giant roll of chains. Oh, there would hit. be, wouldn't there? Yeah, they're, they're... Okay, so there is, like, um... Go ahead, Jake, what's up? Can I pull a grappling hook out of my fanny pack? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> there we go. They you are, got it, boss! You do see that there is, like, a, a reel for the chain. Go, go lower that cage with that beautiful mulleted man over there. Oh, brother. All right, boss. I got you. I'll follow your lead. You look psychopathic. So you two are going to get the chain, or get get the get, get Paul out of the cage? Yes. Okay, and then you are going to go and walk up to the peeing man? No, no, I'm not. What are you doing? 
I'm, I'm going to go see where my dead buddies are, and I'm going to go touch them. You give me a stealth roll. Okay. And you guys as well. Actually, you know, stealth roll is not a thing. Uh, we're going to call it speed. Okay. And I guess the person hearing that you guys are trying to hide from is the urinating gentleman. As the one big... who stands right by speakers that are blasting all really loud all the time. Maybe he's got a really fine ear for tone. <laughs> 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 Fucking bastard. <laughs> The number you guys are trying to beat is an 11. Not impossible, but nearly. I will say, though, that I do like that uh, justification of him being kind of maybe deaf a little bit because he's constantly hearing noise. I'll take the highest one out of there. We'll call that an 8. I got it with 10. 8. Nice. 9. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah, so you two oh. managed to stealth your way around the edge of this crater uh, to where the, the pole that Paul is hanging from. And you guys are there. Barry, you are walking over to the bodies. Yep, you walk over to those bodies around the bomb. What do you do? I'm going to put their hands together and put the stone on it and then like quickly tap the destination zone and send them back to, to the home base. So you're just sending the two immortals back home with yes. the destination stone? Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's good. Cool. And yeah, they blink out of existence with like a pop sound. <laughs> I'm going to make another rune quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me the roll for the rune. <laughs> that's definitely that's triple sixes that's triple sixes oh, oh my that is god triple sixes it's now, happened i forgot what it was even though we read it like last week oh really okay on any roll during a session if three and no more than three sixes appear the roll counts as in a critical success and the character refills the resolve dice uh, <laughs> at that moment the gm should consider a way to bring lucifer's dark influence on the moment attack role or scene in some way even if it is simply omnipresent sinister laughter uh, we're gonna go with table stabbing <laughs> what better way blood for the blood god no i'm just kidding uh and you were doing what making a rune yes another destination stone you were just making a rune not that exciting however you made two of the same rune Ooh. wow accidentally like as you're doing it it's like being created. If it's yeah. empowered... And then you hear Satan's voice go like, Yeah, man, you're welcome. Yeah, there you go. Oh, brother. If it's empowered by Satan, maybe it can trans transport him to a place he hasn't been. Uh, yeah! That's what it does. There's not a second one. There's a rune... Which room are you making? Uh, my destination. I thought so. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that can go fucking anywhere you can imagine. How many uses? One. It's a lot of power for yes. one thing. Okay. That's what's happening while you're doing that. These two guys are standing at the base of this pole. As, as Levi would put it, is there a lever? Yeah, there's like a crank that like, you know, lowers the chain up and down. All right, I All grab right. it, squeeze the handle, and then pull the lever. Okay, I like the release. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm sure this will be nice and slow and quiet. Yeah, you saw so this. I grease it before it happens. You do <laughs> that. On it. But this thing crashes to the ground with a bang. Oh, wait. What? In line with the drums, with the music, right? <laughs> uh, I feel like the music is, is faint enough where this is definitely heard. And then you see uh, Pissing Man immediately start zipping it up. That's a what the fuck was that? Ah, a party, brother! Yeah! That and I a... fucking shoot a... Uh, I pop off a, my have... grappling hook at his face. <laughs> Your grappling hook at his face? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you going to scorpion this guy? Yes. I'm going to give him a speed roll here. Get over here! And then you're going to <laughs> Brother. roll to attack against it. That is a, an 11. Oh, boy. Oh! -ho. Five. <laughs> that, that grappling hook flies past his shoulder, and he immediately swings his guitar off of his back and starts to threaten on it. We don't sniff glue, motherfucker! Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jake here, back again at the end of the episode to let you know that Patreon's changed a little bit. It hasn't changed at all, motherfucker. Well, actually, it has. We got we we have two new names, That's and we promised like a month ago we were going to change this up. <laughs> it's it it's true, it's true, but we're actually still here to give you the 
that good old Patreon information that we're uh, that we got to pedal <laughs> at the end of the episode. Well, I got to keep here. the lights on somehow. Uh, starting off, as always, we got the three dollar Paul tier, which is uh, general Discord access and knowing that you support us. That's uh, the main thing. Also, I do want to make it clear that that's like a one time. Yeah, once thing. you're in, you're in, baby. <laughs> it's a one time thing. If you just want to pay that three dollars once and then. Be part of the Discord and enjoy the community and whatever else. That's absolutely fine. It's cute. We share recipes and talk about, you know, our families and stuff. Life and stuff, yeah. yeah. The little community we have there is actually really great. It's very wholesome. And just as vulgar as we are. Of course, then afterwards is the $5 standard bearer tier, which gives you that as well, plus bonus episodes that we try our best to put out as frequently as we can. We'd like to be doing that a lot more. Of course, we're a bunch of guys that just work normal jobs. So uh, we appreciate everybody's support and and love and, and kindness and understanding and understanding <laughs> motivations. You're all like dads and moms, just caring. <laughs> and then the last one we have here is the ten dollar D pick agent tier, which is all of those things, of course. Plus, behind-the-scenes content and uh, NPC naming and a Patreon shout-out, uh, which we're going to get to Today! Right, <laughs> right now! <laughs> right now. There's a couple of people that definitely deserve it. Um, what are those people, Jacob? Well, my good friend Nathan, let me tell you, those people are uh, the freshmen. Baz, Alaskos, Nikki Bean, Kevin Welch, Harbles Barkley, and Jack Benokin. Thank you all uh, for your support. Thank you for being part of it. We love having you guys around. And uh, oh, the uh, the last thing, anybody who does pay that $10 tier and has uh, an NPC to make and hasn't done it yet, get a hold of us. Let us know. Yeah, we're forgetful men. Yeah. You got to help us out here. Thank you guys for everything. Remember, if you can, rate us and review us anywhere that you listen to the show. Um Apple Podcasts and Spotify and wherever else. I, I Hey, man, I don't know where. There's there's a thousand different places that you can find the show. If you can write or review us there, please do it. You know, AOL.com or yeah, whatever. Yeah, MSN Messenger. MSN, yeah. <laughs> Hit me up on MySpace, actually. I got a sweet layout. Anyways, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks, everybody. Adios, bro chachos. And don't sniff glue. <laughs> <laughs> You want a quick session of when he, when he, cut, when he backs his come up into his butt? <laughs> <laughs> when I hoover it back in. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. Um, you oh. saving it for later? <laughs> There's no way that's good for you. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Vile human. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's, that's like my favorite thing to call people. Vile human. Vile. Vile. Yeah, vile's yeah. pretty good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> With a J in there, though. <laughs> like Bjorn. Nice. I love that. Bjorn. I love that. The Bjorn identity. <laughs> How did you spell? That's it? this episode. Well, it's hard, hard to say what happens yet, but that's not a bad idea. <laughs> if he goes on some kind of fucking rampage, if it becomes like Barry centric, then for sure. Bjorn. Yeah. Well, I know how that's gonna happen. <laughs> All right. Dude. 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 I really sticky. Why? <laughs> Why, Christopher? It got interesting last time we were no, here. No, no, it was. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, no one in Matrix wore a cape. <laughs> <laughs> but you can imagine what it looks like. Definitely collared. And, and pleather. The shiny, mm. like, like, no, like latex. Oh, no, people, the vinyl? <laughs> what do people wear? What are those really BDSM vampires? Yeah, yeah. What is that like? Is that like vinyl or like what, flooring? <laughs> that, wrong podcast. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> what podcast is that? I don't know. <laughs> we were talking about like anyway. It's still this one. <laughs> yep. Paper turn sounds doing aning for you. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. You always are. Only slightly differently named Wizard's Brown Eye, but that's something very different. <laughs> Wizard's Brown Eye. you shit brown in the last eye. place you were in. Uh, this Queens one's the no, shit no. out of a dead man's pants. <laughs> <laughs> this one was made specifically for me.
I'm trying to whisper right now. I can't whisper in that voice. <laughs> this guy, this guy <laughs> whispers like this. That's <laughs> <laughs> actually a voice wonderful... change when you whisper. I can't do it in this voice. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like a hysterical I, character uh, trait. <laughs> <laughs> that like he just like talks normally. He's just like, well, shoot. And then he whispers. He's like, okay, guys, well, let's get serious here. It's like if Gilbert Gottfried also had a perfect ASMR voice. <laughs> yes. Hi, Gil- G- Gilbert Gottfried here. <laughs> you say Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. Gilbert. So I was thinking about my street name too. Now. Mom- Gilbert. Gilbert. Yeah. Gilbert. The Milford. Oh hunter. yeah, no, I get it. Is that Gilford. person? No. Oh, I don't know. What is going on? <laughs> I'm not the most sure. Gilbert, the big red Gil. <laughs> ah! uh, okay, so are, is 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 Human Barry gonna go shit himself? No, I was just. I'm definitely not in charge of this. Take a suck of this. I mean, that's not entirely true. It's just... Take a suck of that. It shouldn't be hard to find rules, and it is hard to find rules. Take a suck. Oh, I suck. Suck it. Give it a suck. I suck it good. It came back inside. Oh, no. I feel it. (laughs) (laughs) I hoovered it. The goddamn fuck. Fucking kidding me. That's okay. We're busy sucking it up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's a back in. Don't forget your time. What? Nobody knows what this is about. Ooh. I hope we keep all of this. <laughs>